are going to work on Baby I'm a Want You, David Gates, Bread. This video is edited from a live stream from May 2024. This version that I'm playing is pretty close to what David Gates played back in 1975. If you want to see that video, the link is in the description. The music is available in my book. The easier version of this song will be right there on the screen when I get it done. The link will be in the description also. Let's get going. The chords, there's 17 different chords, and some of them are the same chord, but a little bit different way to play them. So we're going to talk about that. That's our first chord. We've got an A bass right there, A major 7. The next chord is B minor with an A bass. So it's the same fingering down two frets. B minor with an A bass. And we have a D. We'll talk about the strum in a minute. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da -da. D. Baby, I'ma want you. Right? That's how it goes. So you got that A major 7 to a B minor with an A bass back to A major 7 to a B minor with an A bass to a D Baby I'ma want you Baby I'ma need you You're the only one A major 7 right 5th fret 6th fret like that looks like an A minor chord but it's and it's on the same strings it's on the D string G string B string so it goes Baby, I'ma want you. B minor. Baby, I need you. A major seven. You're the only one I care enough to hurt about. D. D with a C sharp bass. I use this fingering right here. Now, usually your D looks like this. And then I'm going to do a bar so that my second fret G string and E string are played with one finger and then my second finger is going to play the B string and then we're going to play C with a D sharp bass to B minor 7 maybe I'm a crazy B minor 7 it's a bar chord and then we keep that B minor 7 and we play an E bass and we still play the same chord. B minor 7 with an E bass. Just can't live without your love and an affection. We're back to the next verse. Your love and an affection. B minor with an A bass. Giving me direction like a guiding light. Up two frets again. A major 7. To help me through my darkest hour. D chord. D with a C sharp bass. B minor 7. Lately I'm a praying that you'll always be a staying. That B minor 7 with an E bass again. Beside A, a chord. Hide me. Now we're into is this a bridge? I was looking at a tab online and they called it a chorus. But it doesn't sound like a chorus to me, even though it comes back a couple of times. It sounds like a bridge. C sharp minor seven, is that what I said? Used to be my life was just emo. So the next chord is this one, C sharp minor seven with this, this note right here. Motions on shuns, he plays this chord. Shuns. an A with a C sharp bass and then on pass pa, oh sorry pa, it goes passing by like that so we got E with a D bass pa, D major 7 sing by to a D chord C sharp minor 7 Used to be my life was just emotion. 
and then passing by boom, ba, da, dum. little bass line there it goes open A plays again second fret to the D string and then C sharp minor 7 again feeling all the while and never really A with a C sharp bass E with a D bass no D major 7 wing D Y and then it goes to Lately I'm a praying that you'll always be staying beside me. Used to be my life was just emotion passing by. Do 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 da 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 da. This is the second time we do this section. At the end of it, he says. You taught me why. B diminished. Right here. It's really uh, an interesting chord. B diminished. You taught me to B minor 7, to B minor 7 with an E bass. Why? And then. Baby, I'm gonna want you. Baby, I'm in need. It took so long to find you, baby. Baby, I want you. You notice that I'm not singing it an octave higher like he does because I'm not going to do it. The next chord I'm playing is a G major 7 right there at the end. Like that. Because um, in this outro, Baby, I want you. Baby, I'm going to need you. You can play it like this, like that A minor chord on the 3rd and 4th fret, or you can play it like this like we did at the beginning. And then you play an A major 7. It's either like that or without that finger. Oh, it took so long. 5th fret, 4th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret. Oh, it took so long to find you, baby. D chord. Maybe I'm going to want you. Do the same thing again. Baby, I'm going to need you. And at the end, it goes... Right there, on the live version. So you've got... I'll explain that. We have this G major 7. It goes 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. I'm just counting the eighth notes there. Just like that. Really cool. Um, very nice rhythms right there. And uh, it, it harkens back to other rhythms that we've heard in other songs. I was going to tell you about this chord and I forgot about it. It's after the solo. I think that's where it was. Right there. I think he plays this chord on that particular video. That B minor 7 with an E bass. Beside me. I'm going to take that off the screen. Let's look here and see what we got. David Gates plays this song with the guitar tuned down a half step. Yes, Bob is correct. On the video that I was looking at, it's in the key of A major. It was The original recording is in the key of A flat. You can play it with these chords. You have to tune your guitar down to E flat tuning, so it would be E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat, if you want to play it this way. I love this way, and he played it this way live in the key of A major, which is a half step higher than A flat major, which was the original recording. That's it. I hope you liked this video. If you would like to see another video of mine, check out the links on the screen. If you would like to support this channel or get my book, look in the description for links. And thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.